This just in. Police on Monday identified a nine-month-old infant who was shot to death in a bloody crime spree that has claimed the lives of two others and wounded three more in Del Cab County. So far, one teen has been arrested and police were searching for two more in connection with a May 3rd shooting that they believe set off the tragedy that left little Ken Rivas Edwards dead and his mother and grandmother in the hospital. Well, I'm really not surprised because, you know, we're in New York and we hear stuff like that every day. But it's unfortunate because the baby didn't really have a shot at life. It just entered the world only nine months, so it, it could have grown up to be something special, something important in this world, so I really hope they catch the guy who did that and he's brought to justice. He was so young. No one had a right to come in here and actually shoot the child. What is the child supposed to do? What point, of the, what point was there for you to shoot the child? I told her to get a new security system. I knew that. That area is horrible. First of all, let me tell you something there. Nowadays, people, they don't have no morals. Who has the time to shoot a baby? Okay, I'm not saying it's right to shoot somebody a little older, but I understand that. But you're going to shoot a nine-month-old baby? What the hell that baby do to you? A second suspect who was involved in a standoff Monday afternoon in southwest Atlanta, according to the U.S. Marshal Service, said, Agents are still attempting to arrest the suspect at a hotel on Forest Hills Drive. The three suspects were wanted in the May 3rd shooting of 29-year-old Michael Phillips, who was killed at a party at an apartment complex at 1401 North Hairston Road. Police spokeswoman Mecca Parrish said, Investigators believe 19-year-old Alexis Malone witnessed the shooting, but it's unclear if she reported anything to police before her body was found along the roadway on a gateway around 6 p.m. Saturday. Crime scene, we have Lynette Aponte. Hi, I'm news reporter Lynette Aponte from MSU 12. Right now, I'm standing in front of the residence where a nine-month-old baby was killed. Allegedly, um, a masked man with a gun, armed, went through the side and he broke into the back door. Here with landlord John Perez. Good evening. And, good evening. Um, so how does this break and make you feel? Unfortunately, it's a horrible event. And this is a mine and my wife's property that we're presently renting. And it's very heartbreaking. That's how I feel. Did you personally know the victim? Well, they were tenants. Um, not on a personal basis, but they were here for three years. So we never had any problems with them. Do you, do you think that... So um, would you mind showing us... Sure, I'll, I'll, show you, I'll show you. I'll show you. Thank you. This side gate, you just changed the cylinder because I guess that's how they broke in. Mr. Ponte, they broke in through this door here. They also had Jimmy the lock and they broke in and they made their way in through this way. Well, the door was pretty secure, so it's unfortunate that the people here, they didn't hear anything. Because to make their way into the door, they probably had to be there like 15, 20 minutes. And they made their way in and I guess him making his way upstairs, that's when he found uh, the women and, and the child. Apparently he got spooked and I guess that's what happened. So um, how does it make you feel? Do you feel safe living here? Um, well, you know, John is, is taking care of the security and he's doing a good job. But um, to be honest, no, I don't feel as safe as I used to feel. I mean, somebody broke in. They, there was a murder here. Um, so no, I, I don't feel as as secure as I, as I used to. Do, do you see... Thank you, Lynette. Now, detectives are looking into the possibility that friends or associates of Malone sought retaliation by committing the home invasion that led to the baby's death. One of the women reportedly grabbed the baby and all the three ran upstairs where they tried to lock themselves into a bathroom, according to the media report. But the gunman kicked it in and fired at them multiple times. The victim's names have not yet been released, but police say the women are 36, 23, and 21. The 21-year-old is thought to be the baby's mother.